Blended mode brings in lots of opportunities for the learner as well as for the teacher, but it also brings in certain limitations. There are certain challenges that the teacher faces while using the blended mode. The first and the foremost challenge is the what kind of blend to be adopted for what kind of learners and for what kind of content. The teacher needs to therefore have a sound knowledge of the learner attributes as well as the content characteristics. Only then the teacher is able to choose the right blend. In some of the models of blended learning we have seen that learner is given lot of autonomy, lot of freedom, lot of empowerment. So the teacher has to take the judgment that whether the student is able to handle this kind of freedom and only then give freedom and so on. So uh, this demands a lot of thinking on the part of the uh, teacher, lot of deeper understanding of the content as well as of the students. Not all the teachers are able to handle this part and uh, hence it poses a certain challenge uh, for the teachers. Blended learning demands face-to-face uh, -face mode as well as online uh, mode. So there is a lot of technological support uh, needed for the teacher. If teachers don't have this kind of support then make the best use of especially the online mode aspect. In face-to-face -face mode uh, they are able to handle because handling may be say small group uh, interaction activities and so on. They don't need more technology for that but especially when the technology comes into picture in the form of onlineness they are kind of dependent on the technocrats and the persons who are able to especially uh, maintain if there are any uh, technological crisis during their teaching learning process. In this case, the teacher also needs the infrastructural facilities for the learners. Uh, at times it happens that even if the teacher uh, decides to have certain online uh, sessions for the students and if that organization doesn't have those kind of facilities, then uh, it becomes a limitation for the teacher that um, the teacher is not able to use those kind of uh, modes for the students. If the uh, high-end technology infrastructure is set up and if it is not used to the uh, maximum extent, then it becomes a wastage in the form of the infrastructure. Also, this kind of infrastructure needs a lot of maintenance and if it is not being used, then even this maintenance cost uh, is another uh, expenditure which is for the organization and if it is not being used for the students then it's really a wastage time money as well as resources even if the institution decides to have the infrastructural facilities especially of the onlineness of the blended learning part and if the teacher is not being uh, using them to the fullest extent then that kind of investment in the infrastructure is a waste also this kind of infrastructure needs a lot of maintenance and if they are not used to the fullest extent then the maintenance cost is another wastage of money for the institution. The students need to have certain kind of self-discipline or uh, self-monitoring or maybe they need to have a certain level of maturity in order to handle uh, their own learning path through online mode. So in case of using the blended mode while designing the activities for online mode this is another requirement on the part of the students that they need to be at a certain level of maturity only then they are uh, benefited through the use of the online mode. As a learner if they are not very much matured, independent to handle their own learning then again that calls for the uh, limitation of the blended mode. So here were some of the limitations and challenges of the blended mode. So on the background of these challenges we shall now discuss some of the precautions that the teacher needs to take if she wants to go for the blended mode. First and foremost thing is she needs to be absolutely clear with the content. She needs to understand the characteristics of the content, the various modes that the content demands. Maybe there would be certain kind of contents which would be more better handled through say laboratory kind of a situation then maybe the teacher would then may opt for the uh, lab rotation model. So depending on this was an example similarly uh, the type of the content the teacher will be able to 
choose the best kind of model most suitable for that content and uh, that is why the content clarity on the part of the teacher is absolutely must the second precaution that the teacher needs to take is the complete learning path needs to be very very clear to the students so it is her responsibility that she makes it very clear to the students right in the beginning that which part of the content they will be learning through face to face mode through which kind of experience whether it will be their own reflection or whether it will be a small group discussion and so on and similarly which part of the content they would be handling with online mode and in online which of the option they are opting for whether it is a discussion forum activity or whether they have to view some uh, video through say youtube or whether there are, there is going to be a discussion through whatsapp and so on so this the mix of the media and the sequence the students responsibility as well as the kind of teacher support they would have at every stage all these uh, things should be made to the very clear to the students right in the beginning if they are uh, little younger students then it should be made clear even to their parents uh, this would help in taking even the parents contribution or rather I mean in their participation as well in case if they have any suggestions then the teacher here also has the opportunity to take those suggestions into consideration for certain kind of uh, blended learning models the students ability to use that kind of online uh, softwares or online uh, facilities it comes uh, into picture in a big way for example uh, self blend or enrich virtual learning in that case the teacher needs to be very sure that the students are aware and are capable of handling those kind of online uh, resources and online facilities that are available so that is another precaution the teacher needs to take uh if the teacher still designs certain uh, modes where there is a lot of online ness and the students are not well versed with that uh, kind of modality then maybe uh, initially a small orientation kind of a session could be uh, scheduled for the students and um, once they are familiar with that media and uh, after that the teacher can go ahead with the rest of the uh, session as she has planned the teacher should also be aware of the students learning style because in certain models it was from case to case basis the sequence and the choice of uh, blend uh, was to be decided so in that case she needs to be very clear about uh, what kind of learning style the students has and then she can choose the kind of blend that is uh, most suited for that particular uh, student or a group of students she also needs to be very uh, clear and uh, she needs to ensure that there is enough of learner attractivity and learner engagement because even after going online if there are no such opportunities given to the students then there is no point in uh, spending that kind of uh, energy or uh, designing that kind of a schedule where there is a lot of online ness is involved so uh, she has to ensure that they are engaged continuously and there are a lot of opportunities for collaborative and cooperative learning during their learning path a uh, teacher should also uh, decide in advance that how the learning will be monitored where exactly the evaluation would come into picture there also needs to be a plan about how the feedback will be given to the students about their learning now uh, this is especially uh, true during their learning path and uh, if they are making mistakes so uh, it is better that they are told right in the beginning and so that they can uh, rectify those mistakes and have the clear clarity on the uh, various concepts so uh, it is not an easy thing for a teacher to design a, a session or design a syllabus uh, to be dealt through uh, the blended mode and the teacher needs to take all these kind of precautions for uh, making the whole venture very successful here also comes a question that uh, what kind of activities would be best suited for online mode and what kind of activities would be best suited for the face to face mode because if uh, both the modes are to be used they should be used to the optimal level 
so if this kind of uh, discussion would help in maybe giving some idea about how that particular mode could be used in a best possible manner so uh, in the next uh, few minutes we shall be discussing about such options here we will be discussing about uh, the options which are maybe uh, available as today as set of art options but as the technology progresses especially for online mode there would be more options that will keep coming in the due course of time so here are some of the uh, activities that could be best conducted through the face to face mode so discussion on some abstract content or brainstorming maybe planning where uh, students have to take care of a lot of uh, details of exactly how the you know, schedule will be so in that case the face to face mode uh, kind of discussion would be more suited for uh, planning practicing interpersonal skills uh, maybe presentations also they can do th better through face to face mode of course presentations are possible through webinars on the online mode as well but here we are talking about the face to face mode uh, presentations demonstration on various practices and processes uh, review of assignments now here is an opportunity for the teacher to give the feedback to the students about what improvement is needed on in their assignment where they can do better and so on so the face to face mode sessions could be another possibility could be taking up a role of various characters uh, say in a story and then they would understand the psyche of that character in a better manner that is best possible uh, way is the face to face mode role play uh, could be uh, used for the face to face mode similarly hands on training for certain kind of material which are uh, difficult to be supervised uh, through online mode and which needs teachers intervention such kind of sessions could be organized through face to face mode so from these options you can see that the face to face mode is hardly used for teaching we have not seen teaching as an option over here because that is very obvious very widely used rather and these are the other kind of options which need to be focused on while the face to face session is scheduled as a part of the blended mode approach we shall now see the possibilities of using the online mode in the blended learning approach so here to begin with the online mode could be used for basic activities such as maybe reviewing reading viewing uh, videos through online mode so uh, all those kind of activities where the learner is all by himself or herself and is you know trying to learn something so these kind of activities could be scheduled through online mode as in the face to face mode we had an option of face to face discussion similarly in online mode the asynchronous mode discussions could be scheduled the discussion forums could be used for this or maybe uh, social uh, media could be used like uh, whatsapp facebook or twitter and uh, they could be used for uh, having the asynchronous mode discussion amongst the students similarly uh, those kind of exercises where repeated practice is needed by the students could be uh, scheduled through online mode where maybe initially that intervention was more required we have scheduled that through face to face mode and once they get the grasp of it and then they are able to handle it on their own but still they need the practice such sessions could be scheduled through online mode the sessions where one needs to give the exposure to the students of working with the various types of audiences or maybe working with the multimedia in that case online mode is a more suitable option for that kind of a content at times the students are given the opportunity of uh, peer reviewing uh, their work so uh, this is another type of uh, or another way of giving them the opportunity of collaborative learning and uh, they learn from identifying each other's mistakes and communicating them to their fellow learners Uh, this kind of opportunity can also be uh, designed for them through online mode and thus there are various options that are possible of using the online mode now in this case we have seen that the face to face mode there are certain kind of activities which could be designed and the online uh, facility could be used for designing another kind of activities 
now it is up to the teacher that what uh, blend to be used and what sequence to be used what kind of content would demand which kind of activity and then uh, choose that kind of a mode accordingly in this session we have uh, seen how the concept of blended learning pulls in the advantages of both the words that is face to face mode and online mode we have also seen the various uh, types of models that are available and the most important part is the challenge for the teacher that how much to blend onlineness and a face to face mode for what type of content in what sequence for designing which kind of activities and so on so the teacher's role is once again the crucial over here because even if it is giving 100% freedom or 100% autonomy to the learner it is ultimately the decision by the teacher so uh, the teacher has to be very well uh, equipped with various options that are available and also very well thorough with the content that is to be dealt and thus the blended learning uh, can be a boon for especially those uh, institutions uh, where going completely online is not possible for maybe for the financial uh, reasons or maybe for the reasons based on the content or maybe uh, learner characteristics so blended learning uh, brings in the option for uh, having the enhanced pedagogical model because it brings in the best of both the uh, worlds and that is why it is a great friend to a teacher and the teacher can use uh, blended learning to a greater extent